So right now we have a video player that fits nicely in here. Let's say that you forgot to use the custom size. So I'm going to delete the video player. Just click the delete and then we'll bring everything back up. And we'll save and stay. So I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm just going to pick this very large one here, 640 by 360. So I'll copy that code and let's put that in our description. So I'm just going to go up here, hit the HTML button, and I'm going to drop it right in the beginning like we did before. And then you'll want to scroll down and update that, and then save and stay. Okay, now we're going to see something that looks different than this. So let's click Reload. And here we can see this just doesn't look right at all. The video player is larger but it actually goes off the screen so you can't you might not notice it but I know that this goes off the screen and probably goes all the way over to here you just can't see it because it's beyond the space that doesn't look very good you've got to be really careful to get the right size video player and that's why this 533 matters okay so another thing that a lot of people will try to do is actually take let's say you didn't look at the embed and all you did was took the link here so let's just try that let's take the link and drop it in where the video player is. So I'm going to delete my video player and I'm going to go to the HTML because that is an HTML link and I'm going to paste that link. Okay and then we'll update. Save and stay. Let's go back and reload. Okay, now you can see it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even create a hyperlink. So that is not what you want to do here. Essentially what we've got is a piece of information that's meant to be used with a flash video player. And you actually can use this and you can use uh, the PrestaShop tools to insert a video player a different way. So let me show you what happens when we do it using an alternative method. So I'm going to delete this and let's just check to be sure our HTML is clean and we don't have any extra characters and it looks good so I'm going to close that. Okay there's another option here called insert and edit embedded media. So let's click on that and here it brings up some options. Let's just stick with this default type. You have a lot of different types of media players that you can use but this default type should work for us. Now the file URL, what it's looking for is the URL of your YouTube video. So we already copied that. I'm just going to paste that in here. And there is the YouTube video. And you can click here to bring up some other options, some upload options. So let's close that. I've already got this in here and don't need those options. Now we have to set the size of the player. And the size of the player was 533. Okay, and you can see it comes up it's 439. Now honestly I don't remember if that was the right size but I don't think it is. So what I want to do is go back here and look at the embed code and for this particular ratio which this is a 16 by 9 video it's 533 by 300 so we need to change that otherwise it'll skew our video. So let's take off this constrained proportions and we'll do 533 and we'll type in 300. There we go. Now that should work. It's a little hard to see it in the preview window here and you can't, uh, I guess you can make it a little bigger. Well unfortunately it doesn't make that bigger so let's just put that back. So we should have what we need here. Let's just go ahead and try and insert that and see what happens. And now it's once again hard to see but you can see the little dots here indicating the video and then we've got our text below so save and stay and go back up here and reload the page okay now here we've got a player and we'll play the video hi everybody and welcome to another training video from prestatraining.com in this video I'm going to 
Now I can double click that and then I'll make that big again. But this is pretty much the same thing as what we had before. I think it's a little bit more work because you have to go through the effort of embedding the video player and sometimes if you don't know what all those options mean, let's go back and I'll show you what I'm what a lot of people might have trouble with. So let's say that we're on the video here and we click here. Yep. There's just a lot of stuff to know to know what the right choice is here. And then also to get the right size. So this is definitely a fine way to insert that video, but quite frankly I prefer the HTML method because it just works. It's very simple and you don't have to worry about choosing any additional options. You just paste the code right here and you're done. That's all there is for this training. Hopefully that gives you a good start on how to insert videos. Now remember you can insert videos pretty much anywhere you can insert HTML. So you can insert them on your product pages, on your category pages, in your home text editor. It's really up to your imagination. In fact I've done another video that shows how to insert a video over in your sidebar. So if you want to stick it in your right or your left column, which admittedly is very small, but maybe there's a reason to do that. And I do have a video on that that I'll leave a link for in the article below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun teaching it. Look forward to the next time. Take care.